in the last episode, the Coterie, slowly catching up to their target in distress, were in for a rude awakening. Saved only by the hermetic alchemies of Margaret, they narrowly avoided a daylight encounter with the law, or worse. The Coterie discovered that they have been tracked, not only as a result of their recklessness, but by the flagrant exposure committed by one of their own, their entire journey posted online for all to see. With Veronica taking care of the problem permanently, the offender is left staked in the woods. The coterie now needs to cover the tracks and get the hell out of Dodge. And they also seem to have picked up a slight bug problem. Hi, I am Outstar and I'm playing Veronica, who had a pretty, pretty intense night. Hi, I'm Florian. I'm playing Maya, who's currently going through a crisis of faith. Hi, my name is Debbie. I play Margaret, Peggy, and she had quite an interesting day and night. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alan. I'm playing Camellia, who does not like roses. Well then, a new car, eh? Well, this is a land of cars. Be that difficult, yeah. or so I'm. We are. I believe we drove off last time. Um, mm. I'm behind the wheel, white knuckles, whiter knuckles than usual. Mm. Um, cigarette in the corner of my mouth. I'm looking out for anything where I see a bigger collection of cars, a big um, travelers uh, parking lot, some used car salesman. I'm looking for anything where we have a choice between two or three vehicles of our size or similar. Mm. All right, uh, you are uh, you're doing that, uh, keeping your eyes, you know, in part on the road, the rear view mirror, yeah. looking at both sides. Uh, might take a while. Um, or, uh, so I'm next to you. I'm not helping you currently keep an eye on the road because I am furiously writing things down in my day planner, trying to like just mumbling a little bit and like flipping through the pages and like going over the things like. I guess Tyler is a threat now, so we should move her over here. And so. <laughs> Margaret. I believe I am staring at Veronica because obviously we're in the back seat if, if the other two are in the front seat and looking quite uncomfortable because I did not realise that she had that in her. But at the same time, Peggy didn't like Della, so actually, I guess that's well done, Veronica. Hmm. That was what needed to be ha what needed to happen. That's I speed up a little. Hmm. It needed to happen. I think you did an excellent job. I appreciate it. She was going to expose us, and we can't have that now, can we? We can't. Really hard curve. Mm -hmm. Outside uh, the what little uh, forest that you found yourself in gives way to another stretch of desert. Open land brushes as far as the eye can see. You're looking desperately to see if any kind of, of sign on the horizon, any kind of uh, curvature, silhouettes in the night could tell you about uh, habitation, cars, anything. You're reminded by a line from Shelley on the lone and level sand stretched far away. That is exactly what you're seeing now. Um, so I've done a, done a little bit of inventory and I'm wondering if it's worth it for the group to go through a couple of things. Um, just a, a couple of notes. Um, to I think that sounds like an excellent idea. Notes are always good. All right. Um, so the only backup we had for the map was on um, her phone. So this is not the only copy. If we lose this, for example, in some sort of car fire, um, then we will no longer have a map, which um, is fine. I have a number to the guy that yes. we've met, uh, but <sighs> that is also a thing. I'm wondering, are we in general against cell phones now? Because I should point out that you carry one, I carry one, 
Mayor has one. Uh, I carry one too. I, I Peggy has one. I, I roll down the window um, without another word. Take out the old Nokia brick and throw it into the landscape. All oh, right, oh, and that so goodness. not him. Mayor has no phone. I am taking my phone out of my pocket, searching for the number to the guy that we've met um, during that first meeting of ours, and I'm showing that number to you to write down. And then I'm taking the phone, opening it, breaking the SIM card, and throwing it out of the window. All right, so we are doing that to all phones now. I mean, I, I, I guess... We can get a burner for uh, some kind of a gas station yeah. and call the guy. Does anybody of you have, you know, technology skill? I do. <laughs> yeah. I do. So, uh, an intelligence plus technology role. I mean, my technology is uh, bloop two. Yeah. I'm not sure if I know. But I'm sure your intelligence is tremendous. Hmm. Two, and then my intelligence is four, so I need two more. Hmm? Ah, uh, thank here. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a single little success. Yeah, uh, yeah you're, you're not quite sure, you know, what is needed to, um, to actually stop anyone from tracking or eavesdropping on you. So, yeah, probably just getting rid of them is, is probably for the best. Then I'm going to very sadly take out my Samsung Galaxy S7. <laughs> That only has 2% battery on it because I haven't charged it because what's the need? And open it and just like scroll through the WhatsApp messages I had with Sebastian with our Aww. daily planning and where we shared a document. <laughs> <sighs> and then just go take out the battery and go like, I can't throw it. It's just, it's littering. I can't do it. Just do it. Come on. I think you have to. The quicker you, want me you do, to do it, it for the less you. it's going to hurt. Would you? Like, yes. I really don't want to have my Yes. Out. And Peggy. Crit. <laughs> and I, I know that in the world, I have made a little mess. Yes. The last <laughs> words of Sebastian behind you. They're just gone. You know, we're uh, at the mercy of the eyes of Maya, who is now desperately looking for a place to, uh, well, ditch your ride, as they say. Maya, uh, I think that it's um, it would be appropriate for you to roll a resolve plus streetwise to find a place that, even though this is um, this is way out, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, um, uh, a I, little bit of streetwise usually uh, helps when it comes to finding yeah, a place where I you could uh, actually have dots and illicitly this. illicitly acquire a car unless Excellent. you intend to find an all night. Car dealership. I mean, honestly, Those right are now, rare. Right now, I'm looking for whatever is by the road, more or less. And I count three oh. successes. All right. Yeah. Uh, well, it's it's um, you. Uh, you actually managed to spot a bit um, a bit further away. You uh, spot what looks like a not a car dealership, but some kind of minor settlement, mm. maybe an old mining community that has now sort of. Mm slowly shrunk into basically just a, a truck stop, mm -hmm. uh, a parking lot, a couple of trailers, mm -hmm. um, uh, really dilapidated diner. The, the lights are off, doesn't seem to be anyone there. Mm -hmm. There are a few trucks and uh, as you close, yes, there seems to be a couple of cars there as well. Mm -hmm. The lights are out, um, you are not sure whether there's anybody there, mm -hmm. uh, but at least none of the sort of facilities seems to be open. All right. Um, as it as I see this, I step on the brake, maybe two hundred steps or something like that mm -hmm. away f uh, from the whole thing. Hard. <laughs> we need to get rid of this thing. Um, oh yes, that was also on my list of threats. Is currently the car. Great. And uh, Tyler, and uh, not having anywhere. Camilla. Any shade. Come. Thank you. Hmm. I need somebody to look out. Is, can anybody around here hotwire a car as well? Maybe. I mean, it's not that hard. Right, you and me. Um, we need somebody to be behind the wheels of this when we peel out. We don't want both of the cars in the pl uh, same place. Um, I can drive it off. Great. You as look out? Fine. Uh, uh, can I have, uh, which one of you has a, the highest, I think that has to be you, right? Uh, wits plus uh, awareness. Wits plus awareness, yes, that is three plus four. Yeah. All right. 
let's uh could you please roll that yes uh we have um what yes. do you need four need uh five do you need i i just don't know which was monumental which you need five i would do it am i doing it in the i'll yes. just do it it's here yeah, now yeah, yeah. it's here now do it. here we go <sighs> best dice Dan All right, three, four successes. Four successes. Um, you notice you, you can hear from the sounds of one of the um, one of the the larger t trailer trucks there the, the plinking sound of a cooling engine. Um, it's obviously not been here for that long, although you can't see anybody in there. Um, might you're getting you know uh, the place might not be as uh, as deserted as it looks. There is potentially someone here. Hmm. I mean, usually people, I mean, the people, since there doesn't seem to be a place to sleep here, this might be a place where uh, the truck drivers have just stopped and might actually be sleeping in their vehicles. Um, in my mind's eye, we are a few steps away from our car, uh, just not signals that we pull out with something. And I silently next to you stomping my foot into the ground with every step, make my way to the edge of the parking lot. Hmm. Okay, there's just, there's an engine, oh, all right, we're just, I mean, with you. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to stop for a snack. Would anyone like to come with me? I have to stay on the lookout next to the car, so hmm. you go. We don't have a lot of time here. Oh, be quick, it'll be fine. We don't have a lot of time here. Yeah. I really need a snack. Half an hour. I don't even need half an hour. Half an hour after this. Do we the man knows this car, okay? But we're leaving this car. Yeah, but we are still with it. Yes, I'm with my own. So I'm just going to give you my watch. It would be so easy. I'm not, I'm not arguing. I'm giving you a watch. See? You stay with a car or you'll get left behind. Maybe if you make it quicker, you know, 30 minutes, that's... I don't that's even need 30 thing. minutes. No, I mean, it's... it's they're right there. Yeah. It's somewhere right there. It's, it's like, really yeah, right hard there. to think of anything else, you know. And, it really is. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna... So... They, well, we are we are still around. There, there, our there, car, there, are, there are two. Part. Yeah, uh, assuming mm. that you do not want to hotwire one of the large, you know, uh, long haul trucks, mm. which granted is a possibility, uh, there are a couple of other cars mm. uh, parked around the corner of the dilapidated deli. Right. Uh, whether they are whether they sort of are abandoned mm. or somebody owns them, it's it's hard to know. One of them is a pretty modern one. Uh, it looks like a uh, it's a. Dodge Grand Caravan. Mm. Okay, so I'm keeping And that. the other one is a very sort of rundown AMC Concord. Right. Um, I'm keeping that in mind. Uh, mm. In my mind, I was still a little bit away because I didn't want to pull into the uh, dr uh, driving uh, parking lot with our car. Mm -hmm. um, so I imagine that we are having this argument by the side of the road. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's true. Fair enough. I actually would like to position myself in the way so I'm still away from our car, mm. but I want to have them on the lookout and mm. I want to know where yeah. Peggy is going. So I'll so just... So let, let, let me get this straight. You yeah. haven't actually driven into... No. I mean, I, I've been lifting cars for a while. I know that you don't have both vehicles in the same place if you can help it. Fair enough. Okay. Then in that case, as soon as you enter uh -huh. the parking lot, you hear the plinking sound uh -huh. of the cooling engines. Obviously, uh -huh. it doesn't carry all the way out here. Yes. I mean, she... She she is very perceptive. I would have not put it past her. No, but no, no, still, no, no, uh, no. Not that, that perceptive. No. <laughs> in that moment, um, Veronica, keep her with a car. Sure. And... I push off with Camellia. Wait, I'm very confused. Are we following you now? Mm. We need to get rid of the car, all right? Yeah. Let's, let's get the car. I agree, it's on the threat list. Excellent. Which one do we pick? Um, so the newer one has a lot of good features for it, like there's a crash testing. Ca Camellia, mm? which one do we pick? I assume that this is a conversation as we walk there. That one's better. That one's harder to break into. That one's better, but harder to break into. Easy to break into, but also has a tendency for engine stalling. That is. Which it, one do we pick? We try both. 
Yeah, it's, I mean, honestly, this is uh, very much your area of expertise. Yeah, yeah but I trust her. Unless, okay, unless you want her to do, yes. you know, some kind of, of premonition oh, thing. To, oh, all right, I'll see which one I get a good feeling about. <laughs> all right. Um, well, but you, it also uh, depends on if it's so basically you, you walk up to the cars, you put a hand on each one of them, and you try in some way to get a sense of which one will... Put you on the path. That means I would like a rouse check. Yep. <laughs> Worth it for this. <laughs> and that is a nine. Oh, no problem. And Not the, a problem. Uh, the I'm blood, just, the just blood pressing complies, cars. The blood complies. And then we need to roll. And that is a... I should learn this by now. Press plus. Res, uh, it's a resolve plus all specs. Resolve plus all specs. So that's five dice. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is not a single success, so I'm gonna... Wait, 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 was that a... Oh, there's one success and one failure. Bestial failure. Yes. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, fuck! Oh. But you can burn willpower for this absolutely no. useless role that I asked no, you to. Not yeah, a, well, not, yeah. a, not a bestial failure, I can't burn willpower. Um, no, 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 but what you can do, you can re-roll the black ones. And, and if, if, if you have a success, it's still not a bestial yeah, failure. Yeah, if it turns into a success, you discount the, uh, the skull. So it allows... It, if you spend a willpower, mm. uh, it will allow you to re-roll all of the regular dice. And if, you know, enough of those, depending on difficulty, comes up a success, then it's not a bestial failure. Is this the best part <laughs> to just have no worse rolling? Uh, I mean, as Karim says, uh, willpower spent, not spent, is a willpower wasted. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, yeah. so I don't want Camellia freaking out and ripping uh, cars apart. Uh, that by, would be by, hilarious. By the way, uh, I want you all to regain willpower. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank yes. You. Yeah, I should remember to yeah. do that. I haven't spent nope, much. But I want you to only regain willpower, uh, not, not all of it, uh, the lowest of your composure and resolve. That's how much you gain. Hmm. Note to viewers, I am now dropping the amount of willpower that the Coterie are um, recovering because the sessions are short enough for that. So uh, due to the fact that we only have two hour sessions, we need to reduce the amount of willpower that they regain. Otherwise, they will have too much. And that is no fun for everybody. Anyways, so, spending some will. Getting back to spending yes, some willpower or suffering intentional superficial willpower damage. <laughs> uh, all right. Come on, dice. I believe in you. I believe in us. Oh, yes. One success. One success. Thank you, dice. Yes. Um, the uh, Unfortunately, this isn't enough to get you anything other than this weird buzzing sound and something of eyes within eyes within eyes overwhelming you you uh, suffer from a terrible compulsion as well <laughs> as uh, this kind of overload this chaos pattern recognition um trait that you have goes into overdrive and you collapse on your knees between the cars shivering as sensations just overwhelm you and you see too much um we are going to look up um let's see here this is a um, you are hit by what is technically a double whammy my fave, double of your, whammies. Of your clan bane as well as a compulsion as the blood inside you starts Fun. running amok. This is so worth it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are going to pick the right car here. <laughs> yes. This is actually yes. the best fucking car. <laughs> All right. Um, you now have a two dice penalty. To rolls involving dexterity, manipulation, <laughs> composure and wits hmm. as well as on rolls to resist terror frenzy for one scene well, in addition to that you also have a, uh, a dice penalty to all of your mental traits so basically you are right now severely handicapped in all but the most basic of functions you see patterns everywhere and the patterns just don't add up so I, I see you 
fall on your knees between the two trucks or something like that. Uh, everything all right? Neither of these cars are going anywhere or staying anywhere. It's just, they're just here. And but also in someone else's memory, this one's been used. I don't like it. And this one's just a bad color, but it's... Can I hear this? <sighs> You hear a rambling. Uh, yeah, because because um, Veronica and I are by the old car, right? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, mean, I am on the way, both, basically. Yeah, watching everything. let's let's try to set the scene here mm. because uh, there was some discrepancy mm. uh, between our collective sort of imagined scene. Um, the way I see it, you are by the two cars. Yes, right. No. I'm uh, between them. Yeah, not, not Camellia not has collapsed between them. Mm -hmm. They are parked on the short edge mm -hmm. of the dilapidated diner. Mm -hmm. Lights are out, mm -hmm. there doesn't seem to be anybody there. Mm -hmm. A bit further off, more like in the front of the diner, in the parking lot, two sort of huge long old trailers are parked mm -hmm. for the night. At least one of which seems to have been parked pretty recently. Right. Peggy is sort of standing by that one, eyeing it <laughs> like the fox <laughs> eyes a hen. And Veronica is... Behind it all, trying to be kind of like in the middle of a triangle to mm -hmm. have a lookout on both of the groups yeah, and seeing what people are doing. Yeah, you're sort of trying to keep an eye yeah. on the entire situation. Yeah, yeah. Keeping... I need some time alone to yeah. ponder. Mm -hmm. all, all right, right. good. So, uh, sorry, do mean to interrupt? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Thank that you. that is basically that is what is happening mm -hmm. now. And um, you, yeah. So, clock is ticking. Okay. Um, good. Thank you. Um, I take the one that l looks easy to break into, which I assume is the older one, and I try to um, uh, uh, pop the door. You try to pop the door on on the uh, the AMC Concorde. Yes. All right. Um, I know a lot about cars. You do know a lot about cars. You know that it's actually uh, recently appeared on uh, on a list of the ten worst cars. <laughs> oh. It doesn't have a good <laughs> reputation, and this one has also seen better days. On the other hand. It might just be inconspicuous and harmless looking enough for Hon your purposes. Honestly, right now, I need to get out of the situation. If I ditch it in uh, three hours, that's the other thing. But mm. that woman needs help. And there's a car that I very likely get into and hot wire and people will maybe thank me. That's excellent. All right. Someone died next to that car. In that case. Or close to it. Or will. I, or it's never happened? You will now that's need great. to... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, you know, this this is a purely manual thing. There is not a single thing electronic on this. Are car. you telling me I get to roll dexterity? I am telling <laughs> you, you get to roll dexterity. <laughs> so finally, uh, this is a dexterity plus larceny roll. It's or all you... coming up, uh, Maya. No, it's not. But can I have the thing? Oh, I would have been so good at that without all my massive amount of penalties. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, this is, you Thank do, you. Uh, let's see, Maya, you do have larceny. I'm assuming yes. that you do have. Uh, um, I can, uh, could I also go for craft mechanic? That would give me one more die, so I'm not no, bargaining but, that hard. No, but you will use that to hotwire it. That sounds, oh great, I get to do, I get to fail at two rolls in this scene. <laughs> fail at two rolls in this scene. Four plus, Don't jinx it. Four plus a full one, one. We need to get, you know, get a bit of that willpower juice. You well, really think my character has willpower left? Three are successes. Three, that's great. So. Um, so yeah, so. absolutely. I mean, it's yeah. almost as if the door isn't even locked. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I, I look, still looking over to uh, Camellia going, that's great. At that moment, there's the click. Yep. And... Um, what um, then you sort of get in there, you don't even have to bust mm -hmm. anything open, yeah. the wires are hanging out there, maybe the previous owner also employed the same method. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> uh, so um, before I do that, I kind of look, hey, and I wave you into uh, the passenger seat. I think um, she tries to get up and then she's very confused of where to go. Like, you're waving to her, but she's, like, not sure which direction you're waving. All right, I like, get I get out again, and... No, you don't have to help me. It's just, like, it's going to definitely take a while. She, I hold like the door open for you. she's looking at everything. I, yeah. I, I hold the door open and do the old-school cavalier thing, basically. Yes, the problem to... is that you do that, but I don't see that. <laughs> I see the whole shuffle out mm -hmm. moment, uh -huh. like, because it's, like, the everything is now weird and focused. But, yes... It takes a while, mm -hmm. and then I'm like stumble over there. Right. Basically, she's tripping. Okay. <laughs> While yes. that is happening, they seem to be occupied elsewhere. Are, are you going to follow through on that? Absolutely. Little slacking? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I wanted to let them finish before I said anything. Yeah. So, but yeah. Um, so you, um, 
you sort of you you sort of sidle up yes. towards the side. I've got of two the, stealth, so I can be stealthy. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, it's um, I would like you to do a dexterity stealth. Okay. To sneak up there, see whether you Let's manage see. to sneak into That's that car. Um, two for stealth. Um, and dexterity. Oh, do I only have hunger? Time? Oh, you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what could possibly go what wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Ah, uh, that's my uh, motto yeah. in life. Come on, this is. Hey! Oh, three, wow! Oh, fine. Fine. Look. Perfect. You know, <laughs> good start. Yeah, I mean, you f- you feel instincts take over, and like a shadow, you sidle up to the side, quietly pop the door open, and you hear a gentle snoring yes. inside. As a man, surprisingly small. It's, it's it's not the typical you know truck driver you know burly guy, but a, a small guy you know sleeping in this little cot that has been pulled out of sort of the the um, compartment there back um, behind the uh, the driver's seat. It's a very roomy. They're kind of cozy actually. You know, it's it's a uh, these these modern amenities. Not bad. Um, you uh, you take your chance and you know quick as a weasel weasel you bite down, you sort of find his neck, he's, he's lying there, it's very exposed and everything. A bite down, he jerks for a moment, but you hold him still, he moans, and you manage to say, t- um, let's see, how many? How much hunger? I have four hunger. <laughs> four hunger. Yeah. Well, um, so you can say two, Yeah. any more, and this mm. guy is probably not going to be driving Yeah. at all. Seeing as we're on a bit of a time crunch, I'm going to do two. Two, two. All right. Yeah. And also that's something that you can actually do in a few minutes. Yeah. Um, so you uh, you manage. Oh, it's so good. I mean, this, I don't. The uh, the, the blood is pretty empty of any kind of, of real flavor, of any resonance. He is sleeping pretty soundly and sort of, it, it's a very placid blood. But still, you know, the way that it suffuses your body, you can feel feel it entering not as much your stomach as your entire body as it kind of just Refill. merges with your being. Um, Pause. Now, of course, yes. Uh, shouldn't she roll for hunger frenzy because she said for hunger and she felt this taste of blood? You are absolutely right. Yeah, I was thank wondering about you. that. Thank uh, you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course, let's do a hunger frenzy check. <laughs> How many because dice why do I do make for things that? easy? Exactly. How many dice do I do for that? Because I don't. Know. Oh, it's uh, your remaining willpower. Uh, that's <laughs> actually you have a lot of willpower, if I recall correctly. Mm. Yeah. That's four. Yeah, yeah. Is it with a hunger die? Uh, or regular no, ones. No, regular. You don't do a frenzy check with. The, I mean, you can use hunger die, but just don't count. It doesn't frenzy. count. No. It doesn't count. Okay. Uh, so uh, and your humanity is what seven six uh, seven I guess seven yeah so plus two so it's uh, it's a lot you are so uh, four plus two you are mentally. <laughs> Oh my god! So yeah, many yeah, you're, you're, types you're, of dice. You're, while you're hungry, you're still very much uh, lord of your. Uh, ooh, barely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. This is. Uh, I, I was about to say I would really like to know what the other crew, the real uh, relief crew that mine sent out, <laughs> Alice is doing right now. <laughs> yes. So anyway, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously you are tempted to go on, yes, but I mean, you know that this is, you know, you don't want to bring any more problems down on your company. And besides, what has he done to you? Um, so you keep uh, you keep drinking there, slowly, slowly. I want you to do a um, just not to wake him up. Uh, a um, composure plus. Let's see here. Insight, I think. Composure plus insight. Um, well, he he wake. He's like, oh, what? What? Is, oh, who, who are you? What? What are you doing here? Oh, I think I'm just gonna compel to huh? just. Can I compel them to go back to sleep? Not no, really. No, no. right? No. What? Uh, you have you have dominate at two. Two. You can. I can uh, compel him and I can mesmerize. You can mesmerize him. You can mesmerize right? him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can give. Him, I mean, at least you can mesmerize him, not into going to sleep. No, but like. But at least into keeping quiet and you know not doing anything yeah, until I'm you're left. Yeah, just gonna do that. Yeah. I think. Hopefully, it was dark so that he didn't he uh, 
yeah. so that he won't. Why would there be light on in rem- his trailer? No, exactly, he's exactly. No, no, no. It, it's it's pretty gone. He probably just didn't just get, a, get a good look at you. Manipulation. You, Sorry. No, you don't have to. Ro- no, no rolling. No rolling. Oh, he's, no rolling. He's a oh, human. He doesn't expect this. Oh yeah, this. yeah, yeah. Sorry. You can just you know like you you basically steamroll his yeah. his motor functions, and uh, what do you tell him? I tell him to just just lie back down. You can't. There's nothing here. You, there's nothing to worry about. No, I mean, but you have you have to give him a specific order. Oh, right. So lie down, maybe lie down. lie down and don't say anything. Yeah, lie down, be quiet. quiet. Yeah, lie down, be quiet. Good. He lies down. He breathes heavily. He tries to say something, but nothing comes out. So you quietly move out, close the door, yep. fix your clothes, and by that time, it looks like Meyer has gotten the. Um, so the the car started right. so, the old uh, Concorde. Um, as as I have both of us in our seats, I look at you very very carefully. Buckle up, it's important. And her uh, occupied. I start mm. hot wiring the thing. Yeah, do the hot wiring. Grabby grabby. Thank you. Oh, uh, because you did uh, mesmerize. That's a rouse check. <laughs> Easy come, easy go. Oh, <laughs> another hunger. Ooh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm sure it was worth it. Well, it's, it's net gain of one. Net gain of one. So. <sighs> yeah, three successes. Uh, three, no problem. I mean, this this car basically hot wires itself. <laughs> <laughs> Just sort of nudge the wires a bit and uh. boom, there it goes. It really the wants engine. to go on a ride. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Price the, on this car, what's written on the windshield? <laughs> <laughs> like there's there's <laughs> nothing <laughs> written on the windshield. You can see that some of the upholstery inside is actually stapled there. Uh, there's a strange sound coming from the engine. There are litter. I mean, the you don't even want to know. The um, sort of the, the rubber... Um, Carpet. carpet. Is it carpet? Flooring? It's, it's, yeah, the floor yeah. of the car. You know, the kind of ones that you put in mm-hmm. there just to, to keep. It, it's kind of bulky, like the stuff underneath them. I love it. Yeah, yeah. and... and um, it's the worst possible choice we could have made. Uh, now that you sort of... Now that you're there, you, you kind of start eyeing the other car and it's shiny, dark veneer. It's, it's you know, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, sparkling hubcaps. It does actually look worse. I mean, the glimpses that you do get that aren't the kind of a kaleidoscope of mismatched patterns. Uh, yeah. Meyer seems happy, though. You yeah. know, this this car doesn't lie. This is an honest car. Wait. We're gonna we're gonna ditch it uh, quite. We're gonna ditch it soon anyway. What's um, it? And I start pulling out. How is? What's that? A, are you driving away from us? Um, I gave. Uh, I told you, signal is uh, for you to get the other car. Mm-hmm. Um, that I'd start pulling out. We could have made a different choice. There was another way. This is exact. I, I told Nance this. Should have never got allowed him to convince me. Pull out the next cigarette. Convince you about what? He convinced me to take other people with me. Creates complications. And somebody got killed. Should have done this on my own, you know? Who got killed? Dell. Right. One, wandering per... Uh, Person, uh, wandering man solves problems. That works, like you know in that show, um, Kung Fu. Um, that Don't works for fuck's sake. <sighs> uh, and I pull out and I start driving very, very slowly, not so that it's entirely mm-hmm. noticeable, but so that but the other car can the car. Re- very easily co- uh, catch up. But yeah. there was no other way. This is the only way. There is only ever just the one. Just let, let me just <laughs> try to set the scene now. You are leaving the lot. Yeah, very slowly for very, the hour. Very slowly mm-hmm. with Camellia yes. in yeah. the back seat. Because by my or in the front seat. I'm in the front. Yeah, uh, in the front one seat. shotgun. Because by my understanding, the other two are close to the other car and can follow, and then we can dispose yeah. of the other car a little further away from that theft. Ah. I was actually just noticing that she's coming out of mm-hmm. the truck. Mm-hmm. I would just gesture to her and quickly go back to the car. I would take the driver's seat if she wouldn't interfere with that and just drive us behind yeah. Mayer. I can drive as well, but I don't mind. Doesn't matter. I get to the car first, so yeah. the wheel is mine. Mm. All right, then. <laughs> well, it's our path now, and I start accelerating a little bit as you start following. Yeah, mm. There and is only ever the one way, because if there isn't, I mean, the alternative is, that's just awful. Right. Um, I start going on the lookout for... Actually, if you see anything like an abandoned turn of a road or mm-hmm. an empty parking lot or something like that, mm-hmm. say something, all right? The, uh, 
so you get into the old car? Yes, and, and we you, follow them. Yeah, well, that is the idea. It does not start. Fuck. Okay, I haven't sped up because I didn't see that. Oh, great. I there's go some, out of a there's car. There's something wrong with it again. I go out of a car and knowing what happened before, I look to the exhaust. Oh, it's crawling. Oh, great. Crawling with huge swollen moths. All of them trying to get in as if there's some, you know, something really, some moth candy in there. Or maybe moth drugs. Do you stop the car and open the window or something so you can hear us? So, yeah, as I see that you are getting out, I, because at this point there will be a bit of distance, I pull over, turn around and stop uh, a mo- few moments later uh, right behind you. Yeah. And then look out of the uh, other side, uh, out of the window. I go to the front of the car, mm. I gesture towards Peggy to leave mm. the car and I scream, we are riding, this might be fucking contagious. The bugs again. Ah, uh, right. I, I get out of a car, you drive, half a mile that way, I'll take care of this. All right then. So we're just swapping cars. Just yep. swap cars? Yeah. Yeah, we swap cars. I go to the um, driver's seat, um, I take the girls with me, yeah. and the mayor stays behind to take care of the car. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. As you get in. As you get in, you Careful notice that the, uh, sure. the gear, um, what do you call it, the, the gear stick? Mm-hmm. Is that the word? Uh, it is topped by what used to be a chrome skull, although it's... The chrome has fallen off, but it's more like grayish plastic. <laughs> okay. The ultimate uh, sad uncle car. Yes. I like it. I feel very bad driving this car, but if this is a thing, then mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it coughs, it splutters, <laughs> but it takes you away. Let's be real, we haven't managed to hold on to a car for more than one episode so far. This is not a problem, this goes away. <laughs> We drive forward. Uh, do I see that there's something wrong with Camellia? Oh, did, it's obvious I, something yeah, yeah. is wrong with Camellia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if, it is, uh, yeah. There, there is, there's almost like a sheen of, of like blood sweat forming on her. So it, it's kind of like there's almost a pinkish gleam on her and she's really, um, um, you know, she, she looks panicked. There is also the very telltale sign of one strand of hair has oh. fallen out of her very neat oh, hair. No. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know it was that bad. Disaster. <laughs> Veronica is extremely focused on the road, but she, she just like guns in the mirror and sees what's happening with Camellia. And as she focuses, she just tells very quickly to Peggy, who is in the back seat, I, yes. I presume. Peggy, take care of her. I just write for what? It's quite difficult to take care of someone when you're in the back seat and they're in the front seat. I think I mm-hmm. just sort of reach up and just go, mm. there, there, yeah, dear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything's going to be all right, dear. <laughs> yes. I mean, yes, prefer, assumingly, they, it will all be all right or it will all go horribly wrong. Because there is, there is only the way and the way could be death or life or whatever. But if there's multiple things, what is that sign? <laughs> yes, dear. Yes, indeed, dear. <sighs> I do my so, breathing uh, exercises even though I do not breathe. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It, it, no, but it's very <laughs> calm. It's very centering. Mm-hmm. Um, so if I got this correctly, uh, Veronica, Peggy, and Camelia are in the new car <laughs> while you take care of yeah, um, the old car. I mean, it was, if I recall correctly, Maya doesn't remember her name, so I don't remember her name. Tracy was the name of Dell's ex-school, right? Taylor. 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 I, I, I say it wrong every single time. It's so. Just uh, think about sweet. I think that's, that's very telling. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, one intelligence is contagious. <laughs> um, but I, it, it was her then, and she had a lot of stuff in the back. So I assume that there's some sort of loose. I, I've torched cars before. That mm-hmm. there's. Maya has torched cars before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Ah, uh, insurance fraud. Am I right? <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure about that, audience. <laughs> um, we, we need to get the budget together somehow. Um, in any case, I find myself some um, f- as flimsy as possible cloth. Mm-hmm. Um, I yeah. twist it up. Mm-hmm. I put it into the tank. Um, I flip another one of my matches. Mm-hmm. I light it. And being pretty sure that something's going to happen, mm-hmm. I start walking away starting to hoof it slowly the half a kilometer or half a mile, sorry, that I asked you to drive. And you don't look at the explosion. I 
Yeah, that's very important. So technically, sorry, technically there is no explosion. It's just going to start burning. Oh. I'm sorry. So I'm not going to look at the explosion. You're right. No. You're nothing. cool then. <laughs> wow. He's yeah. that cool. He doesn't look I, at fires. <laughs> <laughs> I do put on my glass, uh, my sunglasses though. So I pull yeah. off like an asshole. <laughs> yeah. Is, uh, that, is that news? <laughs> what little smoke is visible in the night? I mean, there is a, a moon in the sky. Uh, is is um, basically what you get as you walk away from there. There's, right. there's a small boom, you can hear it. Right. And you can see the flames start licking at the sides of uh, of the car. Excellent. Uh, that's that's all I needed. Mm. Now the, tr uh, the trick is to not, not be noticed as I walk away from it. So steady uh, moves. Maybe Camille has calmed down by the time I arrive. I pull by the side of the road and I... Uh keep the engine on and mm. I just keep gassing sometimes like mm. room 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 to make mm. sure that no fucking moth gets into the exhaust. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Smart actually. Yeah. So yes, I have been breathing. Like just doing what's very clearly breathing exercises. <laughs> like um and slowly calm back down. Things have centered a little bit more. All of you assemble. Uh you take the wheel. Do I get the wheel? Yes, I, the I wheel. go back to the back seat and go back to looking outside of the window in silence. Right. As uh -huh. soon as you get into the car, the, now it's a very focused Camellia. Mm -hmm. like, this is the worst choice. Well. If there was ever a choice, let's drive. <laughs> I'm gonna start driving. You start driving and you make decent progress. The car itself isn't that bad. You get a decent speed. The headlights are working. Um, how long that remains to be seen, <laughs> but I mean, at least there's uh, there's gas in the tank, some of it at least. Um, you, um, you do realize though that the car is, isn't very appropriate as any kind of, of haven. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, there's actually holes in it. <laughs> In a couple of places, and and even you know, even if it weren't, uh, you would need something to sort of black out all uh -huh. the windows with, and you would have a very hard time fitting in there. I mean, you could basically stack a couple of you mm. on top of each other in the back seat, and a couple in the front, but but still, yeah, that's, it's, we should have um, taken the truck. Yeah, we should have taken the truck. I um, knew it. <laughs> Yeah, well, there was there was a huge like van there, so the Dodge Caravan. Yeah, I mean, beautiful I mean, yeah, yeah, Dodge it's very Caravan. Beautiful, modern and so we on. make I mean, the worst choices. Yeah. <laughs> In my defense, I tried not to make it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Anyways, uh, so um, let's see now. I'm taking out surface cleaner and wiping down the dashboard, <laughs> trying to focus specifically mm. on one place. All right, yeah, yeah. Clean. I mean, you you have your work. Cut yeah. out for My you awareness is zero for the road currently, mm -hmm. by the way. It is mm -hmm. clearly focused on just trying to polish that little like button on the glove compartment. Right. All right. Uh, I think it's even so that Peggy is just like, Could, may, I, may, I, may I have one? Oh, yeah, Kleenex. So she sits in, sits, sits in the back and like cleans the window or something. Because <laughs> it's so very dirty. Um. Yeah, I look around and I, I, I'm very certain that even I realize what a great choice it is we made. So I guess we'll be sleeping in the motel. Because that went so well last time. Yeah. Want to sleep in here? Absolutely not, but uh -huh. I'm going to need another chicken. Mm -hmm. You do have a car now. Mm -hmm. uh, the car isn't really fit to spend the day in. Uh, the option would then, of course, be either a motel or somehow getting stuff like some kind of huge something to cover the car with if you decide to sort of get into some backwoods and just trust your luck and and spend the day there you know camouflage and covered or breaking in or breaking in uh somewhere and s coercing whoever lives inside to keep us there for a, for a day or a place that's been abandoned or forgotten or oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that, me where. That, that kind of uh, that kind of narrows down the options a bit. But you could absolutely keep an eye out for for that. Uh, Maybe we you, can you, look for it, but it's not like there's a lot of houses in the desert. Yeah, it's it's um, you you are painfully aware now that you are without any kind of of daytime protection again. How much time do we have before the dawn? Oh, uh, it's. I'd say you've passed midnight now. It's I think it's it's around one o'clock. 
Yeah, we, we, got, kill, we got we it right. We killed Dell almost uh, immediately after sunset. Yeah. Yes. So it's it's. So, I, yeah. I think it's almost. Yeah. It's it's isn't even one o'clock. It's around midnight. Yep. We we gotta stay on the road as point now. Yep. Oh. Um, well, you um, you keep going. Um, road signs point to the next um, the next settlement, the next well, basically town on the path on the road, still on Highway 80. Uh, it's a place called Winnemucca, uh, which is a uh, you know uh, a couple of uh, couple of hundred kilometers away. I mean, it sounds significantly more fun than it's going to be for us. <laughs> Win the mocha. Win the mocha. Yes. Uh, so we ride in silence. You ride in silence. Uh. We have the squeeze, 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 squeeze. Spray, spray. <laughs> so squeeze, that's what you're doing. <laughs> you're doing. <laughs> yes, I'm polishing the thing. I didn't realize you were doing. Oh, okay. No, sorry. I'm trying to be like you know. <laughs> yes, makes sense. I'm trying to do the character stuff. Yeah, I, I'm chain smoking. <laughs> Chain smoking, yeah, out of pure habit, <laughs> chain smoking, cleaning, We're trying to comfort the, the, the poor and very, very distressed Camellia while you are brooding. Yes. Brooding. Uh, good. Well, you're making uh, good progress in a moment. Uh, well, you uh, imagine that, well, within a night or two, you'll leave uh, Nevada behind. Uh, the headlights, Finally. they protrude yes. like sp- Peers into the darkness. Um, when suddenly you, you start, you first start to think that it's kind of like leaves falling. There's something in the headlights. No. I jinxed it. No. Then you realize that your car is suddenly all around you, surrounded by butterflies, no moths. I Again. the car, I, a cloud of them. I hit the accelerator. I mean, no. moths don't have that much wingspan. No, there, there no. has to be a way through this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Maybe, maybe they're sort of maybe they're latching on to the slipstream or something. But I mean, you're not going that fast. You have no <laughs> idea how this is happening. My God, there's somebody in the road. Uh, Suddenly, there's something in the road. You see the silhouette of a person, and then a splash as you hit something, and the entire screen is filled with. Iker and wings and you know lots and lots and lots of what you hope is just insect gore I want those in the front seat um, that would be you <laughs> but I will show I, that I told her to buckle yeah. up yeah I did actually also do it in like check it on playback <laughs> I did do the motion of buckling up <laughs> mm-hmm. do the hot wiring And Maya, you are both taken completely by surprise. I'm uh, treating this as an intimidation attack going directly on your willpower. So I want you to roll a composure plus survival, this being a wildlife-based intimidation well, attack. Well, isn't it great that I am so great at survival? Um, so I rolled two die. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go first, if that's okay for you, yeah. and then hand over to you. Um, <laughs> we want- the good news is I've got lots of willpower to spend on these two hunger die. Love. And one success. One success. All right. This is... Um, you are no. shaken no, to you. Sorry. the bone. Sorry, you lose Sorry. three willpower. Ooh. That's or take, painful. take three points of, of superficial willpower yeah. damage. You really decided that we had been having too much willpower so far, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> this been too is successful. actually not a result of that, but as a result of uh, trying to get a bit of uh, social combat huh? into this. Ugh, if only we had a social combatant. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> uh, that is two successes. Two successes, which means that you only have two superficial willpower damage. Fabulous. Then, I will need you to make a drive test in order for this not to end in a very painful and loud way. So, um, Please don't kill us. Do you want me to use dexterity or do you want me to use wits? Uh, in this case... Uh, and also, do I get my stunt dexterity. specialty? Let's dexterity. see. It's a dexterity. W- no, it's not a stunt. <laughs> it's absolutely not a stunt because in this regard, you are just trying to keep the car from not doing... Flips. Which to me feels like a stunt right now, but I no, think it's it basically the definition of an anti stunt. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> All right. So, wits plus drive. No, it's wits. It doesn't matter how limber you are, it's just a wheel you're controlling. 
I control it very well. Yes, I think um, you do. So that uh, yeah, 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 four yeah. successes. Really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You <sighs> skid to a halt. You spin around the road. The car, well, the car spins a couple of mm-hmm. times and then ends up, boom, you know, uh, in the, um, uh, among the trees. <clears throat> One of the wheel gets stuck. You try to back out of there, but. I lost my cigarette. I put, uh, I, I <laughs> light for next one. Everybody, it's it's like suddenly it's very very quiet outside. The engine stops. Everybody, well, everybody would be breathing heavily if they were alive. You might still be doing it though. L- looking over to Camelia, for record, you were right, and I'm getting out of the car. Are the moths still attacking us? Well, attacking well, around, is, surrounding is the us. Are moths surrounding just being it. gross yes. around us? Always. <laughs> As you get out of the car. Somebody is standing on the road. It's hard to make out in the moonlight. It looks like a man wearing the dirtiest, shittiest, most trashed coat you've seen. It looks not even, it's not even a coat anymore. It's more like a ripped cloak of some kind. His head is tuzzled and you know, the hair is tousled and looks like dirty. It hasn't been washed for ages. And the eyes are something wrong with the eyes. And around him flutters this, this cloud of insects. And he just stands there looking at you. You step out of the car. The, uh, the man or whatever it is in the middle of the road isn't moving. The air around him is, though. Hundreds of moths fluttering in a cloud around him, obscuring him. Hi. These years? Veronica, um, before she gets out of the car, she already presumes it's something supernatural, but she still loads her gun. Mm, this, yeah, this, yeah, this isn't your... Um, there's something off about this. Let's yeah. just keep it at that. Just still, she loads her gun just in case. She puts it back at her belt, um, checks her knife, all right? And she gets out behind Florian. Uh, behind Mayer, sorry. <laughs> Less attractive, more intelligent. <laughs> Peggy also gets out of the car, muttering to herself, this is not a good idea. This is not a good idea. This is not a good idea. Camelia is like, I agree with you. I agree with you. <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> As you step out of the car, you see a gleam, a sparkle light, diamonds, facets from his eyes, and a voice almost like a, a whisper carried by the wind. You come into my house, hell bent on causing a ruckus and expect not to get ruckus in return. You step onto my front porch, bringing heat, and then try to slip out without paying your dues. Hell no. This is my dominion, and you will pay fealty. Uh, This is your house. Jeez, didn't know. I, I start smiling, Stepping a little, not threatening, but we are pretty far apart as I understand it. So yeah, yeah, starting yeah. to close the distance he is, a little he bit. Is, yeah, there's, there's a, yeah. a bunch of me. Yeah. He's 10 meters away. Yeah. Didn't know. Sorry about that. You didn't know? You distressed my servant, caused untold damage. You brought, you brought the enemies here. You brought enemies to my... Jeez, I'm so sorry about that. Um, I you, you try to keep approaching. Yeah, and really n- not trying to get into hand-to-hand, but just right now as I... I imagine that having a normal volume conversation would be a bit difficult on the distance that we have. Is that right, or are we... Well, you have to raise your voice a bit. There is no other traffic mm. here. There's actually some, you know, some mm. terrain. You're kind of... Um, mm. You're not in the middle of the desert. Mm. There's a couple of hills on both sides. Mm. It's kind of like a bend. Right. Uh, and there's, again, a few trees here and there. Um, I, I still approach a little bit, but really more so to normal two people. As, like two people have maybe two desks between each other, 
kind of distance. Yeah, yeah. Nothing absolutely. Better. As you come closer, you kind of need to swat away mm -hmm. some of the I big don't. swollen moths that, that uh -huh. keeps fluttering around. The cloud expands, mm -hmm. contracts, uh -huh. expands. Uh, Sometimes its shape is kind of hard to make out. Uh, As I get closer, um, I flash the cigars in my uh, pocket. Uh, you want one? And I take one out for myself. No reaction. What do you do? So, yes, I see him approaching the guy and as he slowly steps the, his, his feet forward, mm -hmm. I put my hand on his arm and I just push him back a little bit because he's probably starting to get a little bit threatening with this still long distance, but still. And I pull him back and I say, Look, the quickest we are out of here and we do not want to stay in your domain, the quickest all of the others will be out of there as well. We'll leave this place alone. That's the only thing we want. We do not want to interfere in your domain. But you have already interfered and now I want something from you. You will pay thrice once for feeding on my herd, for which you will pay in the blood. Once for the damage to my servants, for which you will drink from my veins and be mine. And once for leading our enemies to my doorstep for this affront. So I will bend the knee, lend me aid for me to collect whatever I care. So, so I take another step forward, uh, by now the cigar in my mouth. So I get that, but what I don't get, and we are gonna come back, you know, and I don't wanna make the same mistake twice, is what's your domain? My domain is this, this lone and level land. Ah. Not much cattle here outspread, I agree, but nobody wants it, so I, it is mine, and I ah. intend, oh, I intend to keep it. Ah. It is my regnum. Regnum. Is that what you believe? I mean, I got to respect that. I like it when a man believes a thing. Yeah. Huh. How close am I by now? Uh, how close do you want to be? Uh, handshake distance. Handshake distance. Fair enough. Uh -huh. What do you do? Uh, I'm trying to devise whether or not we can make a payment plan. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> well, the, the, these are some 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 pretty hefty, hefty prices mm -hmm. he wants from you. He yeah, basically wants course. the entire package, anything that you can conceivably be asked of. He wants all of it. So yes, so I think currently uh, Camellia is not saying anything, looking a lot at Peggy because I think we're standing very close to the car, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like payment plan question mark, and I'm like <laughs> assets car <laughs> <laughs> question mark question mark. Taylor? Question mark. I think Peggy's just going to take the pen and just go, fight? Question mark. There is a... Let's see now. Um, that's going to be you. Uh, I want you to make a... Um, let's say a composure and awareness check. Oof. Let's mix it up a bit. Things are happening. Let's see if you can keep your head cool to notice things that happen around you. I mean, it's always difficult to tell oh. which are the big roles beforehand. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is two successes. Two successes. Oh, well. So. There's a lots of moths around now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, um, that's for sure. Uh -huh. Um. So, sorry, I didn't know. Right. So, I mean, you're, you're, you're keeping an eye out. You're making a payment plan. Uh, you are sort of, are you still, I, obviously he's ignoring your yes, attempt to hold I him am, back. He just, keeps, he just keeps walking. As he keeps walking, I, instead of grabbing his arm, I just grab his jacket behind. So just like firm grip without, you know, mm. any Ooh. alteration or anything like that. Oh. Just a little grip in there. I, uh, that's probably. I, are you trying to pull me back or are you trying to no, keep No, just distance? hold you. All right. How angry does that make you? Honestly, that is not a problem. That does not a problem. Okay. No, um, right. my, my anger goes to its, you know. Yeah, yeah okay, okay. So you're, you're, simp you're simply just, so uh, she's tugging at your, she's tugging at your coat. That's great. That's great. Uh, so on that distance. Yeah. Well. He's still just standing there in the road. It's, it's very uh, sort of. Right. Well, I'm Maya, by the way. 
he does not move. A slight breeze causes the cloak or coat or whatever it is that is hanging from his back to flutter a bit. It's Come on, man. Diffish. It looks almost a I, bit I, hairy. I keep my hand out. Come on, man. He um, he opens his mouth, uh-huh. mm. and a uh, well. For an instant, you see it, and first you think tongue, but it's more like a proboscis. <laughs> Shoots out, <laughs> and latches itself to your hand. All right, so <laughs> that's interesting. And uh, so he's, you, tr- he's feel, trying to. You, you feel a searing pain as he takes a gulp of blood from you through this proboscis before it whips back uh, into his mouth. So I know that this is going to be fast, but yeah. I would point out that I am at this point mm-hmm. most definitely within grappling range. Absolutely, of the man. absolutely. So as this happens, and I, so I, 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 I would, I, I will actually let you try to. To dodge this in order to avoid any consequences. All right. So that would be... My goodness, it's been a while. The dodge skill is gone. It's been so long. No, what would you like me to roll? No, uh, athletics. 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 So is, dexterity uh, plus uh, athletics? Absolutely. Can I please have a thing and a few more die? Mm. <laughs> if you succeed, he's only going <laughs> to scratch you. All right. Okay, if, well, uh, if you fail, he will latch on. All right. So let's make sure... He did say he Four. wanted blood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... I have that thing here in mm. my notes. <laughs> ah, sorry about that. So I count two, four, five successes. Um, and a massive critical. So it's, uh, it's actually um, three, seven successes and a massive crit. Mm-hmm. Which I think I've got a suggestion for that if you would like. Absolutely. So... Since the, since you might be demanding a grapple roll from me soon, I'm going to describe what happens. So this happens. My hand snakes forward by the um, um, un- uh, unpleasant part. Very likely that's why I get my scratch. You can mm. re-roll that too. Why? Oh. Uh, I Don't fight this. grab it. Um, Don't fight this. At the same time, I take fight one this. long fight step this. forward mm-hmm. um, so that, such that I'm next to him. And I yank down his, I'm going to call it tongue, whilst at the same time stepping into the inside of his knee, trying to pin him to the ground and pulling him up by his tongue, trying ah. to get him into a grapple stance. That is, uh, that is a very complicated movement. Yes, I am not a, a bad grappler. Absolutely, but this is a messy critical. Yeah, so the messy was the decision to lunge forward and gain, go into the attack. Ah. Well, uh, what happens here is that um, instead of... Um, Let's see here. You are... uh, I'm going to let you do that, Mm -hmm. but you're also beset by a compulsion. I'm fine with that. Which one? (laughs) This is... um, What you're going to do now is Mm -hmm. that I'm going to instantly let you Mm -hmm. uh, do a grapple attempt Mm -hmm. on him. You manage... This is just you avoiding the attack. Mm -hmm. But now you compulsively move forward and attempt to grapple him. I mean, I'm I'm burning a mind conviction right now. That guy is the man. Absolutely. And uh, let's uh, let's see what kind of compulsion hits you. Mm-hmm. This thing that you, as you avoid this, mm-hmm. this thing that you see, this shakes you to the bone. This mm-hmm. is unnatural, mm-hmm. even for vampire standards. There could be more of them about. Hell, each one of these little fluttering mm-hmm. things could be a creature of this kind. You actually, this this scares you or it scares something inside you it's a very novel feeling Mm -hmm. uh you you need to get a grip on this you you um you try to grapple him Mm -hmm. but your resolve is kind of shaken and you feel that you sort of the beast inside you just wants to get a look at things from a safe distance Mm -hmm. before proceeding with the attack so you now have a grapple with minus two it's a penalty of two damn it I, literally every other uh, compulsion would have helped me. Mm-hmm. So it's fair that I get this one. Um, I'm going to burn a willpower, which impairs me on social interactions, if I'm not mistaken. Willpower uh, impairment goes after social and mental, right? Not physical. 
Okay, so you're gonna you know you're gonna spend your last willpower. So my question is, I'm not sure yeah. whether I do it. If I do it, if you do, do that, I get minus two on minus the two physicals? on mental and social. There you go. I'm for this scene that makes sense for me. Mm. So I'm gonna re-roll, mm. um, and I stick to two successes. Mm, yes, those are two successes. Yes. You are you manage you almost get it, but it's mm. slippery. Mm -hmm. It's not slimy, but very slick, and it just about escapes your grasp. Right. And then, poof, suddenly, the cloud of moths just contract and explode. Mm -hmm. poof, and he's gone. Fuck. He just, he just vanished. From a distance, a car is now approaching. You didn't notice it because mm -hmm. there were moths, but the car is actually is is uh, mm -hmm. stopping. You mm -hmm. know, uh, ten meters from you. Okay. Shit. Uh, I want to know what the rest of you are doing. What are you doing? I mean, you see all of this yes. happening. I am right behind Mayor, mm -hmm. and I look at him, and this is why I do the fucking talking. Mm -hmm. And then I look at the car, and. Try to estimate whether we would be able to get into our car and drive off very quickly before them, like actually interacting with us in any way. You want to quickly Just get into the car. Yes. All right. Get so you're away. you're quite not far away, but you're a couple of meters away, right? And yes. Our yes. car mm -hmm. is uh, beside the road. Your your car is beside the road. Um, the uh, the right front wheel has sort of got itself a bit stuck between the rocks. It's you can get it out of there. Most likely, it's going to take a bit of effort. Mm. Uh, the car is not in a position to... Oh, and look at the exhaust pipe. Fuck. Uh, all right. I basically Shit. drag... Because I still hold Mayor. They still hold yeah. you yeah. by the Fine. jackets. I mean, you would have had to take a step forward, but sure, yeah. why not? Um, I'm standing there, si hum uh, humorously big cigar in the mouth, looking into the headlights, not sure what's happening. I would just drag him and try to get behind <laughs> our car, just so we get some cover in, term in, in case anyone gets mm. out of it with, again, a huge caliber and tries to shoot us in the chest, which happened before. Huh? <laughs> I, I follow right now. I'm, I don't know whether the fear compulsion still applies, but I'm yeah. definitely kind uh, of... You, you, you've basically been afflicted with the paranoia mm. compulsion, uh, which requires you to somehow reach a spot that you consider safe right. and Which stay there for a while. Car. Until you do that, you have minus two dice on everything. Well, that makes that easier. Um, right, yeah, also, I'm, you I'm have following. minus two dice on yes. mental and social roles mm -hmm. because you are now uh, a willpower. Yes. <laughs> so if you want to say something, impaired, you have minus four dice, mm -hmm. which means that you just can say stuff in single mm -hmm. words, basically. He is, uh, <laughs> what have I done, been doing for these last yeah. few sessions? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Maya, Maya looks really looks really shaken. So you get, you head back to the car. I head back behind the car. Behind Not, the car. Yeah, basically we okay. just like. All uh, right. Okay. There. Yeah. Eyes on um, the well then, We were staying next to the car. Mm -hmm. So when I see them starting to hustle back from mm -hmm. that other car, which I'm not sure why we're worried about that currently, mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna activate heightened senses, mm -hmm. hearing specifically, mm -hmm. to see if I can hear something from the other car if they're coming out or talking. Because mm -hmm. I don't sure. I, I'm not sure if sight makes. If the headlights mm -hmm. is towards us, I'm pretty sure sight is useless. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Does anyone of you have uh, sense the unseen? <laughs> no. Nine. I mean. No. Oops. You obviously don't. Uh, none of you have. All right, then. Um, so... You stay by the car, you hide behind the car, taking cover. I mean, yeah. if they're taking cover, I'm pretty sure we're taking cover yeah. too. I'm I mean, just you, like, you, while they yeah, were doing Yeah, you need to get, yeah. get down yeah, by like the side them. of the road, behind the car. Uh, yeah, I, there's still... Kind of. um, still moths fluttering in the air. The other car stops. It's a station wagon. Door opens, and one, two, three people climb out. Two of them are men. Uh, the other one is a woman. Two of them carry, the two men, they carry, looks like they carry rifles, maybe shotguns. I have my gun ready. Yeah. They step out into the headlights. The, the car is, station wagon is standing there on the road. They step out, uh, silhouetted by the headlights, and approach you slowly. There's you something familiar about 
Uh, yeah, Does I was going to ask, do I recognize either the people that I like to call uh, M Molly and Skalda? The, the, the two agents that we met yeah. at the uh, gas station. No. Funny enough, uh, but when you think about the yeah. gas station, there is a guy there. One of the guys is actually, it looks like, isn't that the gas station attendant? One of them looks like the gas station attendant. You know the, the gas station where you were uh -huh. and you smashed the... Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah okay. It looks like him. Uh, the other guy is a thin, unsavory looking guy with a cap and the woman. Oh my God. It's Taylor. The guy she walked still here. confidently among you, leading these two men, unarmed, smiling viciously. Oh, I'm gonna. I ready my gun and I pointed at them. Don't step any step closer. Oh, uh, they stop. Obviously, you know you bringing a gun to a gunfight. <laughs> um, they wait. Taylor, this is, I'm, we are all very disappointed in you, and this is definitely going on your performance review. Oh, but I don't care about that anymore, you see. I saw what you did. You murdered her. Oh, yes, that part, yeah, that actually, hmm, true. I mean, valid feedback. Uh, however, I don't have a good comeback. She's actually, this is all right. Like, I'm not I sure. mean, I suppose that she has a point, she does but have honestly, a point. she should really see our side to it. Yes. We had to. Did we? Yes. Yes, There's we only did. One path. Taylor, Taylor that go back to the car, drive back to your house, and no one is going to get her today. <laughs> Never. Don't you remember? We were going on an adventure. This is an adventure. I have a new master now. He took pity on me. He, he brought peace to my love. He lives, she lives in him now. And Ooh. soon she will live in me. He promised what? me. Isn't that right, master? <laughs> Suddenly there's, <clears throat> there he is again. You didn't really notice him, but there among the moths, off to the side, in the middle of the road, he is again. Yes, his voice comes fluttering on the wind. That is true. I pick up your discarded toys and I give them new purpose. This one, this one is burning with purpose. Yes, she has a lot of potential, actually. We had a couple of good notes. I mean, she had. Yeah, I had, yeah. I, uh, I believe we were doing business. She uh, takes a step forward. He holds up a hand, stops her. Let us try to solve this civilized. Yes. What is your name? We're getting up. <sighs> I am the beating of a thousand wings, the flutter of fear outside your window. I am silk silenced voices. I am the light at the end of your sorry little tunnels. Is there any shorter version? <laughs> What's the, what was it? Is uh, silk fine? Silk will do. Yes, silk. You may call me silk. I didn't get uh, the dialogue, but um, we are behind our car. Mm -hmm. The station wagon has stopped on the road. How far between us and that? I mean, this is basically you shouting. His voice is kind of carried. You're not mm -hmm. sure whether it's produced by the moths, let's the say. The creature or, or the moths somehow. Uh, this is uh, definitely something outside the sort of the regular kindred playbook, uh -huh. although it's it's not completely off. It's just, just a bit to the side. Um, um, Listen so there, Silk. We're not the first ones coming through your territory. We're not the first ones through who, your territory. Through yes, we're not the first ones who interfered in your domain, are we? All we want to do is handle you those. Are all the same. Yes, there were others. I bit my lip, but then you came, and that was the that was the straw that broke the back of this camel. 
So you would you try to negotiate with him? Mm. Uh? I would like to try to negotiate with him. Mm. Listen, mm. you got a ghoul. I uh, probably shouldn't say that. Wait. Um, you got a new team member. You got a new team you member. Bar, you can use the word retainer. Retainer. Uh, retainer. Very, yeah, it's very formal. You got a retainer of one of ours already. So you did earn something on this. What else can we do to settle it as quickly and civilizedly as po- possible? Mm, we try to. Uh, this is uh, you try to put forth the arguments. You know, as a good negotiator. Uh, let's see. What is your? Um, this is a. I mean, this is obviously a persuasion check. Yes. So uh, I would. I would uh, roll manipulation mm-hmm. plus persuasion. Can it be charisma or manipulation? No, is better. Okay. it is not charisma. All right. In this regard, you are stating s- some. These are these. Are, this is uh, this is Four you having uh, black dice. Four black dice. Mm-hmm. It's more about the arguments than about your uh, your charm. Ooh, ooh, that's uh, wow. four successes. Wow. Yes, you drive a good bargain. It is true. I like this one even though I promised her restitution very well let us settle then I'm prepared to let you keep your precious I car as long as you sup on mine he says waves his wrist in the air and of course promise me a favor in the future uh, I think I No think... don't listen to them you promised me we we get our we get our come up and you know you know you saw what they did you saw what they did Silence. So he's very formal. He's, he's very pompous. You know, it's it's um... out of character. Mm. Would we be aware of the fact that the blood bond doesn't take a single sip, but more in uh, general? No, 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 no. Ob- obviously, you're not going to be fully fully yeah. blood bonded to him. Uh, but you know, depending on what happens later, it's still going to be another you know, step. It's still he's making an investment. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 uh, it's it's going. It's most likely going to. Color your opinion of him a little bit I for see. a while. I have uh, a question on that as well. <sighs> also, how, I'm, yeah. how easily would I be able to? On the other hand, a couple of you are hungry, so maybe that's uh, drink oh. from him, but not swallow, and instead use that blood for something else. <laughs> <laughs> so you intend to take a mouthful and then somehow sneak it <laughs> yes. into Can you just keep, it, just keep mm. it in your mouth you don't like yeah, I, I mean, just be quiet just, well, yeah. Yeah. which ritual are you thinking of because I mean some of them don't actually have that big of a like you, you expel then for blood but you don't always have to do a lot of with it do you that's a um, wow um, <laughs> I have to ask <laughs> No, Karim needs a break. That's, that's, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to figure out uh, whether, I'm whether sure this, that Peggy this carries is probably, like a little. Yeah, you know, I mean, if, if, if I were if I were being poetic <laughs> in my interpretation of the rules, it's going to be a dexterity plus subterfuge roll. I want to also note that she's on free hunger, so not swallowing that is going to be a bit of a problem. <laughs> well, that depends on the taste of it, really. So, oh yeah, that's uh, it. I have to try. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have any subterfuge. Do not swallow. I don't have any subterfuge. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's a it's super risky. I mean, worst case scenario, you do get a hunger. I mean, worst case scenario, he enslaves you. (laughs) 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 Sorry, I'm going to... I mean... Rebuilding that. Redo my calculations here. I mean, if you were actually, you know, strategizing that, we could also... You could also use that blood to figure out... Some things. I exactly. think that's what he's trying. But, yeah. but, but it's not enough with just a mouthful. Uh, Are you thinking of using it for... Uh, if I want to use it for truth of blood, I need a pint. And I can't fit a pint in my mouth. Uh, you English, surely you have a pint uh, with you. I, th- I, th- I, think, I think if you... Probably if you... If you, you could likely, you know, mix it with some of your blood. Isn't... 
does it require a pint of their blood or just blood in general? One pint of blood from the subject. From the subject, okay. Mm. And then I mix it with my own blood. Yeah. Uh, well, it's it's going to be hard. I mean, if you do take a mouthful, um, you might get it to work, but it's going to be a more difficult ritual because you're going to have to, you know, make Let's do with it. less. Let's try it. It's fun. Alana, before we start gulping from the guest <laughs> wrist I mean, so eagerly. Uh, everyone's like, <laughs> like, ah, who wants to sup from Everyone's like, yes, yes. Um, um, this is, uh, Can I take exception to that one? <laughs> I want to just basically like still holding the gun at Taylor. <laughs> Sorry, ask. I like this guy. All right. <laughs> I mean, this, this, this is a stand up yeah. in this case. Yeah. They, sure. they are standing in the headlights of their car, yeah. pointing their shotguns your way. You're having yeah, a gun yeah, yeah. on them. Taylor is standing in the front. I mean, you have a clear shot if you want to, but no. that would probably cause a breakdown in, yeah. uh, in negotiations. <laughs> um, all right. So that that's fair. Mm. But we need to know a little bit more about that favor, if possible. Just so we can, you know, be on a common ground on this. What is your concern? My concern is that maybe we do not have to go with the whole drinking thing in case our priorities align. Priorities? Maybe we have common goals in here. Maybe whatever you want to have done will be also something that we would love to do for you. The guys who came through? What? The guys who came through? Who? What? 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 That I, interpersonated I, I, us? Yes, the 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 bike people, the the big man. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Andy. Yeah, yeah. Yes. What are you suggesting? Tell us. What would you want from us? Mm, there's a car approaching. Oh, fuck. Another one. That's an, yeah, it's, it's a highway. The cars cars pass occasionally. <sighs> Nobody has put up a roadblock or anything. And they're parked in the middle of the road, not no, at the no, side of the no, road. No, they're parked on the side of the road. Okay. So uh, it's, it's, no, no, it's, it's, it's I Should mean, if, if you're really lucky, somebody will run over this creature called Silk. Uh, but it's uh, probably unlikely. I'm not lowering my gun before I see others lowering their gun. I still stand no, 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 in my no, position. Nobody is lowering their gun. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely not. There. This is not a relaxed situation. Um, you wait. So, I mean, you're standing there with the guns. Uh, there's a car approaching. Um, as the car Wait. approaches, it speeds up and... <laughs> Vroom, drives past you at breakneck speed, disappearing. That is what I would have done too. Is my fear compulsion still in effect? You told that yes. me that the idea was for me to get away and get a better look. So, at so where, where are you now? Um, uh, did behind you, the car. You went behind the car, following her. Uh, I'm very likely currently in full cover let's, because uh, I'm not let's, very useful let's right now. Take, yeah, no, I no, use your head as a like, base for me. Or when I point the gun at Taylor. I, I, I mean, I don't think that I am that out of it. <laughs> well, you're crouching. Yeah, no, no, you, 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 you get you, the you, shoulder, okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even this happens, this happens to the best, you know, sometimes <laughs> it's you just fine. need perspective. As someone who was overwhelmed by the color of a car, I feel you, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, right, let's see now. Uh, because it Here becomes kind of relevant to me about what I'm yes. doing next, you know. Um, roughly an hour in a safe spot. Thank you. Mm. Okay. So uh, you're... you're Free to particip participate in the conversation, uh, but in regards to between my impairments, and stuff, I'm kind of yeah. yeah out you're, of you're, it. yeah. this is uh, this is something that um, needs to be solved by other means. Right. Um, so um, yes, where were we? We're wasting time. Hmm? What would you want from us? What is the favor you're talking about? Ooh, I would need to deliberate. I am in no hurry. I intend to collect when it suits me, unless you have a better suggestion. So you say we drink a bit of your blood, all of us, and you let us go immediately with no trouble, no moths on the way, no getting into our exhaust again. No. Why? Why would I hurt those who are beholden to me, those who have sworn fealty, the children who have kissed the ring? Why don't we make a deal? We agree to your terms. We agree to your favor thing. But you also drink a little bit of blood from one of us. 
I can agree to those terms. Then I lower my gun and I start to um, fold my sleeve hmm? and approach him. You approach him? Yes. Just slowly hmm. get out of yeah. cover. Yeah. As you approach him, you can see... Um, um, Taylor standing there. Uh, which one of you has the uh, highest? Um, I mean, right, my answer is not me. Intelligence plus <laughs> insight. I'm at uh, six, seven. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. Okay. Um, well, Camelia. Yeah. Roll for it. You are trying to survey the situations. So obviously, you're keeping an eye on Taylor as well. Mm. She seems uh, to be increasingly agitated. Let's see. That is four for intelligence. Or did I lie? Four plus three. Mm. Hmm. Yes, this is... Yeah, uh, yeah your, your uh, compulsion and your bane has subsided. And you are uh, at full capacity. Um, that is three successes. Three successes. Well, she, you, you can see that Taylor is, is increasingly agitated, obviously unstable, and just, and it just keeps escalating in her case. She's looking wildly from you know, one side to the other, looking very, very distraught, even towards her supposedly new master. Taylor? She's she's a bit off. I yeah. mean, you, you can't you can't really talk soft. You have to shout All at right. her. <laughs> then I I'm probably will shout at her. All right, all right. No. <laughs> I'm like Taylor. Remember that regardless, there's only one path. I to hell with your path. Your path took me here. Now I'm forging my own path. Yes, and it's very good. And there's only the one. Do you want it to end here? Are you trying to calm her down? I'm trying to calm her down. All right, down. okay, okay. Uh, then uh, I would, uh, this would be a, let's say, charisma plus insight. My real, I have spent a lot of time with her in the back of that mm -hmm. truck yeah, telling yeah, yeah. her all about yeah, vampire uh, uh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're, I mean, you're not the one that, that killed the love of her life. No. Uh, so there's a, uh, th there's a small chance that she might, you know, at least listen to a few of those words. <laughs> I love this last. Uh, <laughs> I don't have enough willpower to re-roll it. Huh? Shut up! Shut it's up! One success. Shut up! No, she. Yeah. That's that's nah. not gonna land well. Uh, you. I mean, she is not, as we say, listening on, on that air. Um, uh, uh, can I just? Yes. Silk, could mm. you please calm her down? She's <laughs> making the ruckus, <sighs> or the deal is, you know, going to be interrupted. He, um, he looks her way and um, a contingent of moths fly towards her and she backs off suddenly. Uh, he turns his eyes on you and can see them sparkling. They're, they're not even, these aren't even eyes of a, of a human. They are, you know, weird, like bulbous, almost faceted. Eyes of some invertebrate creature, insect, maybe. Hmm. The uh, proboscis whips out. <laughs> Having, you know, you've presented your arm freely, it slides in without causing too much damage. Or he's being careful. But you can, nice feel, you can feel the blood being torn <sighs> from you. Gain a hunger. Mm-hmm. And then, just as fast as it came out, it whips back. <sighs> Fiery, strong, fortitious. Your turn, Silk. He, um, he holds out his wrist and spears it with a tongue, sucking his own blood into it. And then it fans out, dripping. Now drink. Oh, so gross. <laughs> do we all have to do that? Ah. Uh. Yeah, what? Uh, I, I think you, you might want to ask person, what area, right? but. Yeah. 
All right. uh, it, 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 I mean, I mean, you can you can collect it in your hand and drink and so on. I mean, it's it's not like it's not like I have to suck it from his the insect weird oh. thing. Oh. Um, <laughs> Would it like? Um, but I want mm. the blood. <laughs> yes. Yes. He, I want he, he won't really mind. Uh, he would mind, and he would probably notice if I would stall it a bit. Mm. He would probably notice that, right? If you would, if I would stall it a bit, stall. I mean, I, if I would wait a little bit before drinking it, because you know we just need about fifteen seconds <laughs> before it loses the bonding properties. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. He he, ex- he, ex- he expects you to uh, to do it properly. Okay, uh-huh. I just like. I collect it uh, and and I, I drink. Yeah, I drink it. It's it's uh, you know it's coarse, um, but it's 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 not some weird ike or something. It's obviously you know kindred blood, mm-hmm. although um, I've a been bit, gone a bit savage maybe. I've been drinking kindred blood pretty yeah. often recently yeah. for some reason. Uh, do I save my hunger? Yeah, you save my hunger. Yeah. Well. Do, you, uh, do we all uh, have to do this? Yes, I it was you just one person. No, he <laughs> wants all of been... you to do this. I just, when, I, when I finish that thing, I just turn around. He, wasn't he, wants, that bad. he wants a favor out of all of you. He wants all of you to drink his blood once, but you managed to haggle him down to not drinking any of your blood, uh, but then offer him one anyway. As a bonus, <laughs> I offered him because you know we want to be on the common you, ground right? there. Yeah, that's not for all, for all of us. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Okay. It's it's fine. It's fine. No, it's it's. Uh, I'm, this I'm, has been. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm definitely not the next one coming up, and no. I'm, I have basically inched to the other side of our car, still calculating the break to the driver's seat of the station wagon, which to me I think is the safest space mm-hmm. I can see. Like if anything goes wrong, it. I'm off. I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm right. doing my plan. You're doing, your, do you're doing your, so you're trying to pretend to drink. Yes. Yes. But really, you're I actually... I mean, I've been yeah. quite quiet during yeah, this yeah, scene anyway. And really, so you're fine. trying to preserve his blood in what exactly? I have like a little... Um, yeah, you have... the English word? Fick planta. Yeah, uh, exactly. And then you have, you have, you know, you have like some stuff on you. All right. Uh, mm. That will require you to roll a... Uh, like I said, it's, it's very much a dexterity plus... <sighs> <laughs> subterfuge or I'd say larceny whatever is highest I don't have any larceny, larceny or subterfuge Oops. but I have two in dexterity oh, oh that alright then this is uh, you're a bit out of your comfort zone here <laughs> yes but can't you just keep it in your mouth <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm keeping it in my mouth. Yeah, I'm not but putting it in the bottle until you know we're in the car. The next person, we're in the car, or the next okay, person. So yeah. Okay, so you're just keeping it. Tra- yeah, yeah, I'm not. Just- I'm not like doing it and oh, then turning okay, around because okay. that would look ridiculous. <laughs> All right, now, one second, please. All right. <laughs> well, then, then I would say this is a matter of composure plus performance. To act as I if you I think that might have been. <laughs> <laughs> How is that worse? And now we all recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you're a little right monster. I keep forgetting. Zero performance that I have. That's oh, I have one dice. Yeah, he, he, so worst case scenario, you swallow it. Yeah. This yeah. is well, better than the other worst case scenario. <laughs> True. Yeah. This is. Uh, I mean, okay, so, so, <laughs> I mean, this is good. You, you make it. If if this turns out, if this it looks like he's not buying it, you swallow it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So it's it's, yeah. it's, it's you know not the end of the world. Oh. That would no, be a critical if it were possible. Nothing. <laughs> no, I, I mean it, it's. it's <sighs> Yeah, no, it's it's obviously you think it's gonna work, but he just keeps looking yeah. at you, and you know yeah. that he knows. <laughs> <laughs> so in the end, you just have to gulp it down. <laughs> and I mean, as soon as you do, um, it's it's obvious that I mean, you and do you also you all drink from him, or is anybody having any? shenanigans going on here? I, I have no shenanigans. I'm just very much trying to like be unnoticed and be like, yes, you all be on your merry way. So we're basically both can I make standing them here. Try, can Sorry. I make them try it for me? I mean, so, so uh, I, I, I feel that will be difficult. So I, if I have to do it, like it will be... I'm like, not moving until I have to. Approaching very slowly. I'm kind of mm. happy that he mm. has his weird tongue thing and yeah. I don't have to be closer yeah, yeah, to him. Yeah, than yeah, I yeah, yeah. He is he's actually, I mean, the... Um, once you get used to it, you know it's it doesn't look at least it doesn't look as dirty, disheveled as the rest of him. No, it's a it's a it's a <laughs> instrument of nature. But. Yeah, this would have been <laughs> a lot better, of the, like a lot worse if I had to go in and actually drink from his wrist because then I would have to ask if I. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ate no, no, that 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 would, that would, <laughs> real, no, that no, would not is, work. So. I have absolutely nudged you and like. 
Now, this is, this is just, I mean, this is just weird. Um, right. So I'm going to attempt to hold it in my mouth, apparently. <laughs> yes. You're going to try to do that. Yes. Okay, you I talked it over. Okay. So I think in this case... Okay, it's a composure plus performance. But it's also going to be a... Okay, just hold on a minute. And I'm going to take up a tissue and just put it on <laughs> sleeve on my only <laughs> clean sleep. thing. Because this is a dripping situation and <laughs> yes. I don't like it. Like in oh. a French restaurant. <laughs> yes, so it's all very dumb. And I'm like, come on, guys. Uh, what do I have? Charisma plus what? Sorry, composure, composure plus, performance. plus performance. Yeah, sorry, Having bro. Snails uh, better than what I had. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, all right. But I I'm also going to do the same thing like. where I'm just like. Uh, uh, that is one success. Nope. So I'm also going to. Nope. Just, he knows. You know. I'm just going to. He knows. Oh, mm. Mm, that was a good idea in theory, not in practice. And then. Uh, yeah. So what about. Slake a hunger, though. Yeah, it was slake a hunger. <laughs> yeah, slake a hunger. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did it. So I have I did that too. basically not been on uh, completely on my two feet since mm. I was dragged behind the vehicle, mm. kind of trying to find an out and not. Mm. And so I more or less scramble forwards a few steps, still I starting the direction of the currently functional car, mm. clearly calculating whether it would be faster to get go through the ghouls. Mm. And I do it. You Drink. You drink. All right. This is simple. I think I look no, at this, you and realize that's you, you, not going to work. So. <laughs> With the eyes of a cornered animal, mm. Meyer finally accepts his fate. And he drinks. And as you do that, you kind of come to the realization that this wasn't so bad. Obviously, this is a creature just like you. I'm going to give myself at least one humanity stain because I'm currently con uh, definitely breaking the don't let them tie you down conviction. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's that's very, that is very, very. Obviously, breaking a conviction doesn't necessarily have to mean that you get a stain. But in this case, I think it's a very, it's I mean, a very nice observation. Basically, right now I'm close mm -hmm. to friends no matter what happens. Yeah. So uh, I'm just waiting um, for somebody. You're not, uh, you're not the only one. Thank you. You can be on your way. I will uh, be in touch. Oh, pleasure. No! Taylor just grabs one of the shotgun out of another other man's hands and... Yes? How f like I was the last one drinking and they yes. were relatively close to him. How close am I to her? Oh, a few meters. I mean, can, it's, it's, can she, I has, she has a clear shot to you. It's, you have a... So I, I know I'll get the two uh, marvelous, but can I go over there and try to basically grapple uh, the gun out of her hands? Can I just I'm, make I don't want to kill her too. Mm. No, all right. Uh, she, she's she's going. She's oh. all right. You have. Uh, how, I mean, it's cat's how, grace only, but all right. I'm, I'm kind uh, of hearing like it's about making a big leap and then doing it. There'll be rapid so. reflexes, I think. Yes, I know. Uh. I'm trying to make this work. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is. I mean, you can you can try, but this is a. It's, I'd say it's a wits plus, uh, what are you trying to do? Uh, um, so grapp grapple her? Yeah, I was trying yeah. to basically wits, jump over, yeah, it's a get wits, the gun it's down. It's a wits brawl mm -hmm. um, with minus two dice. Right. Because of the compulsion. Right. Um, You're not feeling very well, proactive at this moment. I'm not sure if this, this is moment. a good idea. Mm. Yeah, but if she dies as well, I don't know what's going to happen. So that's five die. Thank you. And to a gun again. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. And uh, that is two, two full successes. Full successes. Mm, I'm, not, I'm trying to get there. Yeah. I'm just trying to get the weapon down. Not, I'm very clearly not trying to yeah. go to her. I'm trying to get to the weapon. Yeah. Uh, that's not really not enough. And instead, you eat the shotgun blast. Mm -hmm. Uh, sustaining, let's see, that's two minus her, one, four, five, uh, so three superficial damage. Mm -hmm. um, Boom! Yeah. The shotgun hits you in the chest and you're thrown backwards. So, so can I make it into a stumble because I want to take another step forward after I... Come on, not you two, okay? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, you, you managed to get those words mm -hmm. out and... What do you do? I am already behind the, at the car yeah. nearby. Yeah, so you are by the car. So, yeah. I mean, the, the, you can approach, basically. No, no, or no I'm, I'm taking the pose of the gun again huh? on the car. Taylor, drop the gun. Um, she looks at you 
And I activated it in Don't as well. Yeah. For a moment, her her face turns from pure fury to mortal fear and then to nothing. As yeah. As the creature fastens his mm. uh, proboscis to her throat and drains her dry before your eye. The words, disappointed me. I have no further use for you. The other ghouls, you assume that they are ghouls, retainers of some sort. They back away, obviously fearful of being next. He uh, he seemed a bit hungry after his uh, donations. The furious cloud of moths calm down as Taylor slumps to the ground. The other two men, they look around, back away slowly. They take her or her body off into the car. After I, I was drinking, while they were doing their thing, <laughs> would it have been possible to do corrosive vitea mm-hmm. on the stones that are holding the tire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm-hmm. But yeah. not get it on the tire, just on the stones, so that we can get the car out. Yeah, I mean, you can weak, you can weak, uh, you can probably get Weaken the car. It, you can least. probably get the car out even without corrosive vitae. Okay, well. So it's it's uh, it's simply a matter of you can't really make a quick getaway. Well, that's yeah, what I'm yeah. trying to yeah. make sure that we can do. All right, you want to make sure that you can yes. get a quick getaway if you want. To, all right, then you will use corrosive vitae to weaken. Yes. Uh, the stone, yes. one of the stones that the sort of the tire yeah. has got stuck into. So the weekend, in case. Yep. This uh, goes. Then is that's, this but you know that's going to require you to spend blood. Is, is the stone as big for her not to be able to push it away? Instead. I mean, you can probably just push the car out. Yeah. If all of you. Yes, are. but I mean, I'm trying to, to do it so no one notices. Kind of yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm trying to do it so no one notices. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, did you remember to remove one hunger because yes. you drank from? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Because I still see three dice. Oh, I just uh, I do, do, do. forgot All to right. remove the dice. So make a rouse check to spend the. Eight. No, no problem. You spend some blood, but not enough to make you hungry, and you can clearly see cracks forming Good. and the stone turning from. Want to make sure that we can get away from here more very porous, quickly. Almost. Um, what do you call this? Well, almost turning into something looking like volcanic rock, very um, shot through with, with tiny, tiny holes. Um, so I would like to just, you know, already open the doors to the car mm-hmm. and say, sorry about her. Um, we can get you another one as a favor. Mm-hmm. Bye. Uh, they, they are they are leaving now, obviously. Yeah. The, the cloud, something happens. <laughs> the cloud, uh, of, the, yes, yes. No, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Is Camellia in? Because she has questions. She has questions. <laughs> All right. Well. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, wait. Um, since uh, all of this now, is there anywhere nearby that would be safe for the dawn? I can... As a po- an apology for my unruly servants, I'm I will make sure that you are undisturbed while you rest for this night only. But uh, you should look into hiring some help uh, in the future. The last recruitment didn't really pan out. Yeah. I'm standing I over see that what last you mean. recruitment. It's hard to get good help these days. For a moment, you sense a moment of pure understanding between the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you can just, uh, anywhere on this map that would be a good place for the day and... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And check, also, I just how much, uh, before, is, is there a chance that you have seen a uh, red I think a car for a, no, uh, a couple a of days ago? A Dodge yeah, Sprinter van. Ask. It should say dry cleaning on the side. I know it's a lot. I'm terribly sorry. I've uh, given you one gift that is enough. Yeah. I don't spot. Cars as a hobby. I think we should stop no, asking questions, just, Amelia. We're going to do that now. Mm-hmm. I don't Thank think that so this much. is a good idea. Let's either. just go. Come mm-hmm. on. I think we should all go. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks, Silk. May you right. get in the car. Yeah, you uh, you all get in the car. Uh, okay. The uh, the car is actually kind of easy to you know move away. The car the the rock that was sort of jammed the wheel is now like pfft, just turns into dust more or less as you grind it over, and you're soon up by on the road. Um, um, yes. So I'd definitely take a moment longer looking at uh, her corpse. Mm. Um, 
No, her corp, Taylor's oh, corpse. Ta- Taylor's corpse has been, has been, been moved. Away. They, they so, move so it into the car. Lo- looking at the spot where she fell. Yeah. Um, and as we get close to the car, I help move it off uh, the, uh, the crumbling rock. But then I go, somebody else drive. And I sit in the back and just. I drive. This time I want to drive. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sure. So Peggy takes the wheel and you... Um, We're in the back seat and Camellia is in the front mm-hmm. seat. Yeah. I strike Taylor's name off of the list of potential threats. Mm-hmm. Oh, he, he did he did show you a spot on, yeah. on the map. Uh, it's... Um, he indicated a sort of a piece a bit off the road north of uh, the, the small town of Winnemucca of which you're heading. If you drive fast, you could probably get there. So you... Uh, Scratch out Taylor's name from the list of potential threats. And on the like next to it, I go, favor for silk? Question mark. Not sure if it's a threat. Mm-hmm. Well, you uh, keep driving, head into the uh, sleepy town of Winnemucca, population 7,468. You uh, pass it, and as you pass it, you see the road splitting into two. Your your path, both according to your map and according to the directions given to you for a safe resting place by Silk, heads north. To the east, does anybody of you have a intelligence plus occult? I have an yep. idea. Yep. Seven. Seven. Roll it. Seven. Oops. Uh, one, two, three, that's seven. Good uh, Well, your eyes suddenly catch on to a road sign heading east. Golconda, 16 miles. But mm. that's not where you're heading. Your path goes the other way, north. <laughs> 